Casper Kings, we're going to go to another spot in Cabo. This time we're going to be in Breathless. And I'm sure you guys heard a lot about it. So um, what we're going to do is just give you a little bit of a run through around there. And we're going to show you what our room looks like and what's going on around here in the marina. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rockland. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport King travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. After spending the first few days of our trip in Cabo, in Hard Rock Los Cabos, we decided to stay longer, but go to Breathless. And man, we should have stayed here in the first place. Shout out to Fast Boy Kings. We out here in Cabo living life, living it up. We doing our thing, right? There is definitely a more lit party atmosphere in Breathless. And to be honest, this was right up our alley. There are so many themed boats to choose from to take your mandatory trip through the arc. Breathless is part of the AM Resorts collection that includes Dreams, Zoetry, Reflect, and Noun Resorts. In the main infinity pool, the music is pumping loud and playing updated music that a pool full of people will be water dancing to. People were really here to have a great time. Make sure your vacation includes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you're gonna stay in Breathless. That way you'll get the full effect of when it's packed to capacity. Even though we're still in a pandemic, Breathless had a party going on. Our room, when compared to the Hard Rock, was definitely not as cool. Even though we did get the suite, it just felt limited. One important thing to do is go into your refrigerator, take out all the drinks, and look for the knob to turn the temperature down. For some reason, this resort thinks you like lukewarm drinks. As I stated in my Hard Rock and Costa Mujeres reviews, Mexico is hot, and it is too hot to have warm drinks. Yeah, as far as rooms go, um, this is very nice. It's very, very large, but as far as like decor and just looking really nice, this doesn't look as nice as that place was, but as the Hard Rock was, especially with like the, the feature of the, having the, the swimming pool up right outside the door, that was pretty cool. But um, all in all, I'm happy. Um, we're going to have a good time here. and. I've, I'm just going to show you everything that I get to see so you guys can enjoy the place. Oh yeah, and one more thing, like the location, it so far it seems 10 times better as far as just the environment overall. It's like music is playing really loud out the speakers and all of the scenery, like all of the marina, everywhere you look around the marina, it looks really, really like beautiful and really vacation-y. Not to say that the other place wasn't, um, like a vacation resort looking spot but it was it was a little dull not wouldn't say dull it was just more toned down and this one is just feeling like it's a lot more toned. Again, this is in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and all of the staff and visitors were wearing masks. A lot of the amenities will be limited if you get here before the world opens back up fully. The main restaurants are on the little strip right above the front desk. We tried each restaurant and the food was spectacular in all of them. There's also about five beach facing restaurants and although like three of them were closed, the last one we went to, you gotta try the nachos there and let them make you a drink. And in all of them, when you get fish, you can tell it's right out of the ocean. 
Breathless is located at 2343 Cabo San Lucas, BCS, Mexico. And it's right in the middle of the city. You will get a much better idea of how the residents of Cabo San Lucas live. So book your trip at www.passwordkings.com. Now make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you can pick up my free ebook on how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, press subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now being in the middle of the city, you will encounter the most negative part of our trip, the panhandlers and sales kids. I know this is normal for many places outside the US, but these folks can be a little relentless. Walking down a marina, you will be approached from all angles by every local that you walk past, including the restaurant owners. And they'll offer you from tourist trinkets to hardcore drugs. I know they have to hustle to keep a roof over their heads, and I'm very empathetic, but after a little while out there, you will just want to quickly return to the resort's ground so you can recover. I showed them respect, but if you can, avoid eye contact, and especially from the kids. They're the real experts. Walking down the beach side is a sight to behold. This is easily the best looking beach I've ever been to. There are miles and miles of beachfront beauty that thousands of people are relaxing on. Taking a boat trip to Sanoa Island, marriage and divorce beaches, and skate park are things that you won't want to miss. All in all, Breathless may be small when compared to other resorts on this beach side, but the word Breathless definitely describes the resort. Our room looked right over the marina and morning, noon, and night, it was just beautiful. The food was outstanding and the party was live. If there's anything else that you want to know about Breathless, just type it in the comments below and I'll read them and try to respond to as many as I can. And if you're interested in having your own travel business, from home, full-time or part-time, check out the description for upcoming webinars to get you started. Have you ever been to either Hard Rock or Breathless? Did you go to another resort in Cabo San Lucas? Share your experiences in the comments below and tell me about them. I love reading them and responding to you. If you and your friends are about to go to Breathless, share this video with them so you can have a spoiler of where you're headed and then head over to www.passwordkings.com and book your trip to Cabo San Lucas. Overall, I very much prefer Breathless over Hard Rock. You can tell that the patrons were here just looking to have a great time. Hard Rock is more for couples who exclusively want a romantic getaway and not to be bothered much by other people. I got a question in my last video asking, was anyone else there in Hard Rock with us? There was a good amount of people, but when I go out to film, I usually try to do it as early in the morning because that's what they call the golden hour when it comes to filming. So I'm attaching my video of the Hard Rock to the end screen and a video playlist of other trips we've taken south of the border. 2020 has been rough on the travel industry and on travel heads such as myself. It's great to see that the getaway party is still going on in Breathless. All right, y'all, so this is my last day up in Cabo. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video that I put together, and I hope that you can join me the next time I go on another vacation. So the next time that um, people tell you that you need to stay home because it is so much despair and sickness out there in the world, just let them know that you're about to travel like a king. I'll pass for a king. Hey.